Hello and welcome to this video for Electropages. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell, and today we are here at Electronica 2024 in Munich. It's been a fantastic event, and today we're at the NXP stand, and I'm joined by my very good friend from NXP, Jesus. Put it there. Hey. Nice to meet you. So, before we go into the demos and see what's going on, just tell the audience who you are, what you do, and what you do in your free time. All right, in my free time, free time. Yeah, I work on electronics on the free time. Right? So that's all you do, just like me. <laughs> So, okay, I'm uh, Jesus Ruiz, as, yep. I, as I mentioned before. So I'm uh, managing the BMS uh, marketing team uh, at NXP. And yeah, today we're here uh, in front of our very nice uh, uh, wireless BMS uh, demo. Fantastic. So, you didn't say what you did in your free time. I know you're an electronic engineer. You, right. could, you must be doing something else. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm uh, usually a guitar player, so... Oh, nice. That's, uh, you know, nice. that's uh, why it's also feeling my look, right? So. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> so, let's go straight into the uh, uh, demonstration. So, what are we looking at today? Right, so today, if we, if we look at the demo, uh, so we have uh, several, uh, several uh, areas here. Yep. So, on one side, we have uh, an area where we try to demonstrate, uh, and we actually do, um, the current measurement devices, uh, this uh, new device uh, from NXP, and uh, this is the part uh, we, we used to call battery junction box. It's a new device, new part, uh, MC33777, and uh, this is uh, a part which is uh, combining two main functions on one uh, current measurement, on the other side, uh, also pyrotechnical switch uh, deployment. So let me just make, when you say pyrotechnical switch, does that explode, disconnect? That uh, explode is maybe a little bit too big of a, a word, too right? Big of a word. <laughs> it's an internal miniature controlled exactly. detonation to disconnect the switch. It is a very similar thing like what you see yeah. in cars, you know, for the airbag. So it's yeah. exactly the same, yeah. but Ooh. just, uh, you know, it's cutting the link between the input and oh, output. So that awesome. it's just open and then you are safe, right? So and, it's, and, uh, and this is for like really high voltage battery systems. So when you've got this is for high voltage high battery dangerous systems. currents and voltage, you want to kill it quickly. Correct. Yeah. That's uh, the way it is. Okay, so this is uh, the first part, high integrated device, new device. On the other side, we go to the second part, which is also uh, the main uh, announcement that we are doing uh, during Electronica this year. And this is our solution for wireless BMS communication. So here we were talking about current measurement. Now we are talking about the voltage and the temperature measurement. And what we offer here is a new solution based on uh, a new technology called ultra wideband. Yep. And uh, we use this ultra wideband technology to communicate and transfer data from the parts to the main ECU, which is this uh, so, uh, blue board here. So just to make sure I understand this correctly, uh, are, we saying that, are we saying these are battery management systems? Correct. And you're using ultra wide bands to communicate with individual battery management systems? Correct. And then you would, maybe, would, would you have one of these per certain number of cells or, so, or something right. like that? Right. Each of these devices is yep. controlling up to 18 cells. Okay, yeah. <coughs> and that's what you can see here, that, right? These are all yep. those wires, right? And. Uh, the specifically of the, of this uh, system is that you can take one. As you can Ooh, see, I mean, there is no connection. That's and, cool. And uh, here you are communicating uh, wirelessly to the main board. As you can see here, this main board is connected actually to a computer inside. So it's uh, de uh, depicting some data here on the on yeah. the screen. And uh, you can see we have a CMU one to four, right? Yeah. So we have uh, the four of them. So this is one, two, three, and this is the four one, right? Yeah. And uh, we are always communicating, and what you can see here are the errors, right? The yeah. errors in the communication. And what we want to demonstrate is uh, how robust this kind of link is inside the battery. Um, and uh, to demonstrate that, we have here a Faraday cage. I hope yeah. uh, everybody knows what is a Faraday cage. <laughs> and uh, this is just a standard, you know, metal box where yeah. you get no RF signal coming out. You know, if you put your mobile, then you would get no, no signal yeah. inside. And we can put uh, our board here still communicating you see no errors right and then we can close the board uh, the box right and you still see no errors right so if you look at it and this is uh, one of the specialties of the technology you see that there is almost no gap you know uh, coming out but still the signal is coming out because this one is receiving so if I close the, the box and I completely close it then you start seeing that there are some errors building up if I open it uh, again just this small uh, line then you can see that the communication that's continues. That's uh, ridiculous. Working. That's brilliant. Honestly, that's, uh, that, is, that is brilliant. Actually, so, oh. I, it's, it's really nice to see a demonstration like this because, like, you know, if you say, "Oh, look, it's working," no, 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 you actually close it and it does actually then start airing. So it's like 
that just shows you how little sort of space you need for the ultra wideband signals to get out. Because I know that the way it works, that you you sort of transmit on almost like every frequency, and then exactly. And, 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 and that, that is brilliant. You know, what, you must love this demonstration. Just of course, pop it out. Like you know, yeah, yeah, the eye. You know, I, everybody does. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is fantastic. So one thing I can definitely see this being very useful for uh, in battery management systems is that trying to, trying to communicate with wise to every single cell it is a, it's a massive pain an absolute massive pain. Um, it's a lot of information so my first question would be how do the how, how would these cope where if you have lots of multiple vehicles next to each other all using the same system how would that how would they not essentially interfere with each other what's right. the mechanism there so that's uh, you, you know we have uh, several uh, several uh, uh, features that prevent that so on one side, of course, you know, the devices are so programmed that they respond and they collect the data codes. only yeah. uh, from their own, yeah. uh, their own uh, peers. On the other side, there is built-in cybersecurity, yeah. you know, so that uh, we can uh, avoid any kind of jammering or any kind of uh, external signals coming in and uh, getting the information from our battery. Uh, this uh, built-in in our, in our chips and, and in our software. Um, that we provide insight and uh, of course you have uh, always uh, to find a compromise you know and uh, having a very robust yeah. communication so which is uh, uh, suitable for every system and this is uh, actually one of the main targets of our technology on the other side you, you also want to be robust uh, against uh, hacking of the of the battery data um, in itself right so this is our ultra wideband uh, management system so what's going on with this one here that one is uh, is a different kind of communication. However, this is uh, this is uh, based on uh, IR. IR. Oh yes, I can see them. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly. so cool. That's the, right there is a little transceiver. So I don't know if you got it, but if you were to break that, it would then obviously right. detect it. Right now, this is uh, mainly focused on the ultra yeah, wide band right, yeah. uh, technology. Yeah. So. Here we have the IR communication, so it's possible to combine both. The same would be would be possible to do it through a wire yeah. as well, right? So yeah. there is a wire wire communication done. And actually, this is a very important point that uh, I also need to mention. So when we have, we from NXP are offering also our customers software, yeah. you know, to make uh, this uh, chipset work together with the main microcontroller. And in this chipset, uh, the, or in this software, sorry, um, the software layers are built like this, that uh, for our customers, it is transparent whether the communication is done through wireless uh, RF or it's done through a wire, for example. So right. customers can exchange one system with the next. So this, uh, that's a really good question. So, um, which, so this, so this ultra wideband battery management system uh, uh, solution, is it a combination of software that people can use and then the hardware? In other words, um, is there like is it, is, it, is it like a chip that you're actually offering, like a piece of hardware to, to enable this feature? It is a. Let's call it a, a black box or yep. a transparent chip yep. that uh, we are offering. Yep. However, you need a stack in the microcontroller to communicate. Right? Okay, right. So, so it's, this it's, is the software yeah. that we are providing our customers yep. to ease the design and to yep. uh, speed up the design on and, their side. And you also offer the ultra wideband chip uh, RF side as well. Of course. Oh, yeah. brilliant! That's, so uh, so, uh, one, so yeah. you, you, both the software stack and the RF front. Right? Uh, exactly. Both NXP. Exactly. So the full solution. Uh, Let's put it like this, you know, what we offer is a solution to take a wire out and put our chip and that's it. You know, you don't need to think about uh, developing new parts or developing new uh, software. Everything is... Uh, and and, uh, how, and, how, and how, how high can this scale? Like how many devices do you think you could get typically in a single battery system? Definitely, I mean, for us, we are targeting to get more than, uh, more than 12. Nice. From the technology itself, it's uh, up to... Uh, 60, 70, I would say. Oh, uh, but oh, uh, generally right, speaking, yeah. you know, in a car, you usually need to run 12 uh, yep. slaves, you know, to, to cover an 800 yep. volt uh, battery. So yep. uh, this is our aim in developing the system and validating the system to yeah, fulfill the requirements of an 800 volt battery in a car. And, 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 and just a quick question about the IR system. So yep. um, obviously the ultra wideband system makes a lot of sense because you know it's all wireless, you can move things around, it's not a problem. Right. Uh, what kind of applications, why would IR be important at times? So IR is a very similar solution. It's based on uh, infrared diode yeah. communication, yeah. right? And uh, the only difference is here you have uh, the flexibility that you can build the module yeah. and just is uh, standing on its own. Here you are making a link 
with uh, so, so I'm guessing this, this is this is probably an easier solution to deploy because of the fact there's a direct link and it's just a communication uh, uh, by, Correct. By, by, by pulsing that light. So it's simpler and easier to deploy, but it's got not nowhere near the flexibility of this. Exactly. And this so is a more flexible yeah. solution where, where and, and, you know, yeah. you can uh, do a modular uh, yeah. approach and uh, have a flexible and scalable solution for, for your platforms. And, and, right? and so in these situations, if you have a very large industrial battery that's like hundreds and hundreds of batteries, you might use that. Exactly. It's easier, you exactly. can get many in the road. And you get it, it's robust as well. Exactly. You can yeah. see, I mean, we can work with a, with a kind of a oh, wave guide. Oh, nice. Right this is a light yeah. guide. Right? Yeah. That's or awesome. we can walk uh, through the air, you know, or with a special lenses. So the, these are the three uh, different ways. Actually, actually, the lens could technically give you some distance as well. So you could right. separate them a little right. bit. It so depends could... on the distance that you yeah. are targeting. Then you can, if you have turns, you know, you don't have direct side of life, then you, uh, light. Sorry, you need uh, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, you a wave guide. Then you can so, see that you can go so around it, corners and so on. Right? So the solution needs to be lightweight and simple. This the IR probably gives you that. But if you need yeah. flexibility and modularity and sort right. of like you know in, uh, lack of interference, this is the one this for one. you. Exactly. That's absolutely fantastic. And uh, also, just just talking a little bit more about the the value of uh, of a wireless solution like yep. this. You know, you have uh, on one side you can uh, increase dramatically your your density, energy density in the car, mm. right? So if you have a car and you want to make you know a slick car with very uh, very low batteries uh, you know that uh, you don't eat up the space inside the cabin right this is the perfect solution as you saw here you know the kind of air gap really that you need it's very <laughs> small right so really, really you pretty. can really take the best advantage out of the battery um, on the other side you know since it is so robust yeah. and uh, you, you saw it uh, uh, already here so you can you have a very easy way to integrate this solution into an existing battery, right? Yeah. So you have the wires today, you can remove the wires, just put the solution, and the work is done, right? And, and I'm uh, also seeing some SMA connectors here. So does that right. also mean that you could pack it in a, uh, you could, even if you packed it all into a Faraday cage, you could then just tap out the antenna, An antenna. and Correct. just put it somewhere in the car. Correct. And it'll still communicate. And you're good, you're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so even if you do shove it in a metal box, like if you've got a sports car and it's completely like sealed, Right. Just take out with an SMA connector and boom. Exactly. Still there. Exactly. Yeah. That's fantastic. So it's also adding the flexibility to to get the, you know either you an antenna option. on board or yeah. you get an external. And antenna, that right. is the beauty of ultra wideband. Of course. Fantastic. That's it. So just before we wrap up this video, I've got one more question for you. Sure. For the audience who are watching this video, if they want to get involved with these new solutions that you're providing, especially with the ultra wideband systems, what would you recommend that they do? Okay, first of all, contact our sales uh, partners. Uh, we have uh, sales all over the world, yep. right? So it's, uh, it's easy to get to us. Uh, at the end, everything will land uh, at our table, right? So, and we will be able to, to show what is our concept, what is our software concept, what is our uh, commercial concept, and uh, definitely we'll support all customers. Fantastic. Thank you ever so much for taking the time Thank to see you. us today. Thank you very have much. Have a nice day. You too.